Salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. You know, we got to jump right in. We got to jump right in. You know, and let me get the one time off. One time, all right, one time for everybody. We just got to jump right in because this is going to be lengthy, you know. Now, shout out to when Kings Talk, the conversation is different on YouTube. Pastor Geno Jennings has boldly gone, gone where no pastor has really gone before other than I know of Pastor Ray Hagens, which was the video I played concerning the Council of Nicaea that everyone, you know, just took so offensively. But when the truth is out there, it's important to stand on the truth. Now, here's my disclaimer. No matter what color, creed, country, whatever you're from, if you walk with God, you and I are brothers and sisters, and nothing can tear that apart. Nothing but the flesh. So let's not get in our feelings. Let's not be pro-black. Let's not be pro-white. Let's not be pro-Christian. Let's not be pro-Hebrew Israelite. Let's be pro-people, let's be pro-God, let's be pro-understanding, okay? Because when I played this earlier, everyone attacked me. Again, I'm going to play something from Geno Jennings, and since everyone protects Geno, maybe it will be received this time. But Geno is saying something very woke. I just want y'all to do me one favor. When you hear Geno Jennings say Europeans, when you hear Geno Jennings say the devils, replace that with the Roman Catholic Church. Replace it with the Roman Catholic Church. I'm going to clean this up for Pastor Geno a little bit. Although he doesn't need much help, he was just caught up in his wokeness. And the reason I know is because he really, I don't recall him asking Brother Williams to ever read anything out of the Bible. Shout out to when Kings Talk, the conversation is different. This is going to be a little lengthy. And uh, I've got some commercials up in here. But uh, let go. In the Life and Shell, Pastor Geno Jennings, he said he's standing on the truth. Check this out. What they got to do with it, Pastor Jennings? Say them! Have used symbolism, right. have used imagery and symbolism yeah. to trick the ignorant yeah. and to promote wickedness. Yeah. Now, when I preach against racism, some white brothers, white men said, you know, you kind of sound, I kind of hear some racism in your voice. You know how, now listen, don't, don't try to flip the script. <laughs> when I preach against racism, you don't hear racism in my voice, you hear truth in my voice. That's right. Now, this have no place, no place. in God house. Amen. He is referring to and pointing to the traditional image of what everyone has been introduced to as Jesus, okay? He ain't Jesus, no. and he's showing Jesus. Now, what he is saying goes right back to those religious wars 
that I was speaking of in that video when I played Pastor Ray Hagen's referring to the Council of Nicaea, 325 AD. He's just not saying it, but that's what he's referring to. If you know your history, you know your history. Let's go. trying to catch it all right here we go made them yellow some made them brown but the majority made them white that's right and what they did with the so-called white jesus was use imagery so people of color can look at the preacher can look at the image and notice that the preacher in the image resemble. And then make them believe that bowing to Jesus is bowing to the preacher. That's right. That's why you people still bow to the Pope. Yeah. Gino Jennings, he knows more than what he's letting on. He just knows that it's only so much he can say because he's in a live stream. But this brother here is religiously, half religiously woke. I'll put it that way. So for those who thought that he was, so for those who thought that he was teaching a false doctrine. He may not get everything right, but this particular time he's onto something. And I'm pretty sure he's a historian, okay? This has nothing to do with race. You hear him saying white, it's not white, all right? It is the Roman Catholic Church. People, if you just do more extensive research, you'll find out that the Roman Catholic Church played a hand in plagiarizing most religions and play their hand and also a lot of the wars that took place okay back then a lot of the countries that were taken over a lot of the people that were enslaved uh, you know 
the Roman Catholic Church has something to do with it. Nothing good has ever come out of the Roman Catholic Church. The changing of time comes from the Roman Catholic Church. The, a 12-month calendar comes out of the Roman Catholic Church. You know, there's lots of other things that come out of the Roman Catholic Church. But I'll let Gino speak on that. So he asked Brother Williams to read a verse out of the Bible. What is he, I'm not going to say preaching against, but what is he factually preaching right now? The identity of plagiarism and how it destroys religion and how people with hidden agendas use religion and your faith against you. What has Mr. Uncut been trying to tell you? Now, don't attack me like I don't believe in God. Don't attack me like I don't believe in his Savior. Because I do. But one of the most biggest reasons I don't believe in religion is because it always traced back to being plagiarized by the Roman Catholic Church. And that's something no one can deny. You can deny it, but you can't deny the facts. And it's out there. It's out there. You can't erase history, although some try. Let's go, Pastor Gino. I'm impressed with you so far. Let's go. That's why your churches are so weak. You're idolatrous. You bow to your preacher. We bow to God. You know the folks will be coming to Philadelphia. They gonna find people bowing to them. Oh no! If Pope was an apostle like Peter. history. There's a reason I don't put titles to things. There's a reason I don't walk in the title of a Christian, although I am a believer in God and the Messiah. I am. But I also know that things have been plagiarized. So you have to be careful what you're believing. Go back and do the foundation. Find out the real name. Find out the real identity. You know, he just said it. This lets you know I'm not reaching. He just, and I had no clue he was going to say that. This lets you know that Mr. Uncut knows exactly what he's talking about. I do my homework. And I do my homework not just for me. I do my homework for you as well. Because I know a lot of you are not going to do the research. 
And one of the methods used to take the fight out the slave is to hold this brand in front of them. That's right. And because the slave didn't know the scripture, the light European yeah. misinterpreted scripture and said, obey your master. Yes. Listen, viewers, this are symbols of terrorism. That's right. He's, po he's pointing to the traditional image of whom the government has introduced as Jesus and saying that this is a symbol of terrorism. All right. I'm going to put this link in the description box and salute to when Kings talk. You really covered this well. And he's when Kings talk says some good things at the end of this video, too. I want to get to. Let's go. Now, I know many of you don't like it, and I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Made an express yes. are symbols of terrorism. The scripture that the European used when Ham saw the nakedness of his father. Uh, I don't know, I don't want none of my white brothers and white sisters writing me. Pastor Jennings, you, you, you sound like you hate white folk. No, I hate wickedness. Yeah. I don't care who, listen, yeah, white yeah. supremacy is no better than black supremacy. Yeah. I don't believe in no supreme race. I believe in only one supreme God. That's right. This, this will be just as evil if the paintings were black. Yeah. Churches, all of you, all of you, get me, get me, get me now. Take this and that. <laughs> See this here, this crucifix. This right here is a lie. Understand this. Many people are gonna feel a type of way about this sermon. They're gonna they're gonna feel a type of way about this message. But at the end of the day, we always go back to what's in the book. We always go back to what's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And in the Bible, it gives a description. And in that description, it says that Jesus had skin of bronze, hair of wool, and his eyes were like a like a red furnace. Now, I don't know how they get a blue-eyed blonde man out of that. Listen, and I'm not here to make any accusations. I'm not here to take this side or that side. But General Jennings preached a sermon on this and said that that was the trick of the enemy. That was the trick of the enemy. And if you sit back and really think about it, if you sit back and you do your research, where was Jesus born? Could a white man hide in that area over there? He would have stuck out like a sore thumb. So you really have to put your best knowledge, your best understanding into play when discussing or hearing this sermon. It's nothing to be mad about. Jesus is Jesus. And we love him if he was blue, black, brown, orange, purple. It don't matter. He's our Lord and Savior. Let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And don't forget. Everything he just said. Everything he just said. But y'all know I got to add my, you know, fair use, educational purposes, and get your one-on-one. -on -one. Get your one-on-one. -on -one. Get your one-on-one -on -one with your higher power. There's only one God. There's only one Savior. Okay? There's only one. Make sure you're choosing the right one. All right? Stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. Stay meditated up. Stay protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. Be you. Be vigilant. Be observant. Do your due diligence. 
Do your research, people. Do your research. All right. With that being said, stay open-minded. Love God. Walk in the spirit. I'll say.